دكتوره ساره طبعا متخصصه في علوم امن الطاقه ودبلوماسيه الطاقه يو ونت تو توك مور اباوت ذا الترناتيف سورس اوف انرجي اند هاو ذا جي سي سي ايفن ذو ذير ذا برودوسر اوف ذا تراديشنال يا 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 ايفن ذو ذير ليدرز ان ذات سو هاو از ذات كونتريبيوتينج ان ذا in the GCC security and future. These countries not only hosting a lot of fossil fuel that we know the traditional ones, but also they, they are benefiting from uh, sun and wind uh, and uh, they can produce obviously a lot of uh, source, new sources of energy, uh, well, perhaps like civil nu- nuclear uh, power generation, but also hosting and investing a lot of that um, wealth that they have in technologies that are benefiting the world. you know, from hydrogen to um, uh, new sources of technology, new sources of energy and technology. So uh, that's why I said that Gulf, uh, this, that the region is going to play a huge role in the future of economic prosperity and economic security of the whole world. For instance, they can be a great partner for U.S. in producing uh, very low cost energy, let's say uh, nuclear energy uh, or mineral processing uh, and um, This is, this is going to be very crucial. For instance, we, noted, we saw that how uh, President Trump and uh, the energy secretary, U.S. Energy Security, uh, Secretary uh, Chris Wright, they traveled extensively to this region, particularly UAE and Saudi Arabia. And all those deals that we saw coming out, it kind of shows that how critical and important they are for United States. As an energy and economic expert, it has the... consequential benefit, not just for the security of the world, but for, as I said and repeat a few times, global energy security and global economic security.